In the previous video, you got to know your YouTube channel. Now it's time to upload your first video. Begin by logging into your account on YouTube. Then, to upload a video, simply click on Upload. Click to select a video from the computer. Then navigate to the web video we created in the last chapter by going to Libraries, Videos, Let's Dabble, Published Videos. Now select the Office Move and click Open. Now you'll notice that we upload the video from our published folder and did not try to upload the actual Windows Movie Maker project file. That doesn't work. The file type .mswmm is only for editing purposes in Windows Movie Maker on your computer. To get a file that you can upload, burn to a DVD, or send to someone, you need to export your Windows Movie Maker project to a video file, and that's what you upload. The video file will be uploading, and a progress bar will display across the screen. While it's uploading, you can start to fill out the video's information, which will bring viewers to your video. Titles show up when a search is made in YouTube, so having a title that describes the video well is important. There are many videos titled Office Move, but only one titled Cabrini Green Legal Aid Office Move. Below the title is the video description, which not only tells people what your video is about, but also helps your video to be found in searches. Because you want your video to be found, it's important to include keywords in the video description so as to drive traffic to your video. Keywords such as nonprofit, volunteer, donors, donations, and community are all highly relevant so that's what you'll want to work into the description of your video. So rather than saying something short and specific, like our moving day video at CGLA, say something along the lines of, thanks to the donations of our fabulous supporters, CGLA is moving our wonderful staff and dedicated volunteers into a new office that will help our nonprofit organization better serve the Chicago community and fulfill our mission. Tags are your last tool for being found in searches. In looking at your description, Pull out the keywords we just identified and use them as tags to increase the odds of your video being found when it's searched. Now choose the best category for your video. Nonprofits and activism is the logical choice, but if your situation leans to something else, go with the best fit. When it comes to privacy, there are three options public, unlisted, and private. The majority of the time, you'll want to select public so that the entire world can find your video. Unlisted does not make the video searchable. It can only be found with its exact address. This is great for when you need approval on a video. Simply send a video link to a few people to review, and if no changes are needed, you then move it from unlisted to public. It's just a neat little trick worth mentioning. Finally, private is the safest way to share a video. After it is uploaded, you go to your video manager and click on Edit for that private video. There, you can add email addresses of the people you want to see it. YouTube will send them a simple email with a functional link to the video. And what's great is even with this exact link, someone else will not be able to view the video. The license options are standard for retaining rights to the footage, or for Creative Commons, which allows others to use your footage and videos that they make, so long as they give you credit. So if you don't mind others using the video you are uploading for remixes, select Creative Commons. If you'd rather retain the rights to the video, select Standard. Thanks to automated saving, the information you have been adding is already saved. Important note, don't leave the page until the upload is complete. If you do so, the video upload will be interrupted and you will have to start this process over again because the upload will be incomplete and the video will not play. After the video upload is finished, you can confirm that the video uploaded properly. Click on Manage My Videos and find the video you just uploaded. If for any reason you wish to remove the video, you can do so by checking the box next to the video, then going to Actions and selecting Delete. Also, you can always edit the video information later by clicking Edit. On this screen, you can edit the title, description, tags, choose a thumbnail for what the video will look like before it begins playing, and finally a few other options. Whatever you do, don't forget to click Save Changes. And there you have it. You have just uploaded your first web video and joined the fastest growing video community in the world.